In this video, I'm going to show you one of the more recent features in Microsoft 365 versions of Microsoft Word. It may also appear in some of the other more recent versions of Microsoft Word. But what this new feature is, is now you can insert free stock images into your documents. In addition, I'll show you how to edit those in a new way using a brand new feature in Microsoft Word. So here I have a document about technology tips for teachers, and I would like to add some pictures to this document. I'll click here on the Pictures button, and for many years, Word has had this feature where you can search online images for pictures that you want to use. There's also been this option to search this device for photos that are on this computer. But now we also have the option to search through a huge collection of free stock images. When you click that option, you get a pop-up, and you can use this to just browse. If you just want to take one of the random photos that appears and use it, that's fine. You can also go into some of these categories. You want modern photos, do you want travel photos, and here there's an arrow that you can use to see even more categories of photos that you might want to look through. But in many cases, you're just going to want to do a search for a specific kind of image. For example, I'd like an image of a laptop, and I can just type in laptop. If I want to, I can also add a file type, like .png, but that's not necessary. And you can see that Word has produced dozens, maybe even hundreds, of images that I could look through. In addition to just searching images, I can also click here on icons, and it searches through this giant collection of icons. Notice the message that I'm getting here at the bottom. As a Microsoft 365 subscriber, you have access to the full library of creative content. So that is a nice plus to being a 365 subscriber. Other versions of Word, if they have this option, might not have the entire collection. So here in this collection of icons, if I search for laptop, I get several good options to choose from. I'm going to select this one here. But notice I could pick more than one, and that's what I'm going to do just to showcase how this works. And then I'll click the Insert button, and now I have two images added to my document. Let's try it again, because I want to show you that in addition to images and icons, there's also cut out people. Now at first you may not appreciate how useful this is, but imagine in your Word documents or even in PowerPoint, imagine being able to just quickly add a person to your document, click Insert, and this person is pointing to the side here, and then I could place the image of this woman in the spot where I want the image to be, and it's like she's pointing to some key information. Now, as I'm trying to do this, the classic problem with images in Microsoft Word is coming up, and that is, how do I want the image to interact with the text that's already in the document? And a lot of people never figure out how to handle this in their documents, so let me help you with that now. If you select an image in Word, notice that the Picture Format tab opens up, and we have a bunch of different picture options. Well, one of those says Wrap Text. Now you may also get a little pop-up here, and that's a shortcut to the same options. So I can click there, or I can click here. Either way, I'm getting some options like, I want the image to be behind the text, or in front of the text, or through the text, or I want it to be tightly added to the text. So let's look at that one. This is tight, and I can click and drag to move this lady over to the side. Now she's clearly pointing at paragraph two. Let's go back into the insert, pictures, stock images. So I really think these cutout people are gonna come in very handy and be very useful for people using Word. We also have stickers. So if I do a search for laptop here, I get some cartoon-like images, some stickers, very colorful and kind of fun. I could also click on illustrations. Let's search for laptop there. That one looks great, I'll insert that. And jumping back in, we also have some cartoon people. You can see the different categories we have, and then some sample images, and you can do a search for a specific cartoon person that you might want to include. How about this one here? And again, I could pick more than one, if I'd like, and then click Insert. Again, I can use the Wrap Text button, or this icon here, or I can right-click on an image and choose Wrap Text. So any of those three ways, I can change how images are handled in Microsoft Word. I'm going to put this cartoon person in front of text. You can see how that works. 
Now he's just floating on top of the written information. He's completely unlocked. I can put him wherever I want in the document. I'm going to shrink him down using the corner. Any of the corners will let you do that. So now that we've looked at how to insert free stock images and the various kinds of stock images, there's some really powerful options here. We've also looked at how to wrap the text, in other words, to change how the image interacts with text. There's one other feature I want you to know about, another brand new feature in Microsoft Word for Microsoft 365. I'm going to select this image of this woman in this case, and notice that now the picture format tab is enabled. I click on it, and look at all these options that I have for adjusting how this image appears in the document. And many of these have been around for a while, but you'll notice that now the transparency options are much improved. You have a lot more to choose from. I can quickly change the transparency of this image in my document. If I want even more options, I can click this picture transparency options button and a panel opens at the right and I have a slider and I can adjust and fine tune the transparency of this image to exactly where I want it to be. So in this video, we've looked at a couple of the newer features in Microsoft 365 versions of Microsoft Word, specifically focusing on how to insert free stock images and then how to click on them and use the picture format tab to adjust the transparency of those images. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell so you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, you can do that by clicking the thanks button below the video, or you can support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch, and you'll see more information about those options in the description below the video.